Hey guys, today you are in for a super fun video. I'm going to be speed cleaning throughout my house, but focusing mainly on the outside of our back patio. We wanted to make over the backyard patio for the summer. So you're gonna see a backyard patio makeover with some DIY decorating projects using my Cricut machine. So get ready for some extreme cleaning motivation and join us for some s'mores at the end when we enjoy our new patio as a family. All right, today you are in, like I said, for a super fun video. This is going to be a backyard patio makeover, and I'm also going to be doing some DIY decorating projects with my Cricut. But first, we're gonna get started on day one. This will be filmed over a couple of different days. It took us about three days to get everything done. But here on day one, I am starting out early in the morning, making my bed, getting the kitchen and living room cleaned up before doing some more deep cleaning outside on the patio. So I was just getting started in the morning while the girls were eating breakfast. And also in this video, you're gonna see the girls later on when we finish the backyard patio while we're having s'mores and just hanging out. So you get to share we get to share a lot more in this video than just cleaning. Um, and then I'm also gonna share with you some new living room decorations. Good morning, guys. We are getting the day started with breakfast. I'm gonna clean up um, while they're entertained with breakfast and eating on the living room and the kitchen. Um, this afternoon, I think I'm gonna get started on deep cleaning outside in the patio, get that going. We are ready to enjoy our patio for the summer. So, we ready to have a good day? Yes? It's finally warm enough here in Northwest Ohio to enjoy our patio. It's actually kind of funny because last year I put up my backyard patio video around the same time. And I think it's because it's pretty cool or it can be on and off cool until this time of the year. So we are just happy that we can, that it's warm enough. We can be outside more. But if you are brand new to my channel, hello, I'm Jamie. I live in Ohio. So. It's usually pretty cold up until late in May. Um, but yes, I'm Jamie. I have twins who you see right here eating breakfast with me, Addison and Emery. They just turned two in March. And then we also have a six-year-old daughter named Avery. My husband is Mike. He is my high school sweetheart. We met in middle school. Um, you'll see him a lot later on in this video because he's gonna be helping me with the patio. But not only am I excited to share with you our patio and how everything turned out, but I'm just also excited to show you some of the um, projects like I got to decorate the patio with some things that I made with my Cricut machine so um, I got my Cricut machine back in August and I was a total newbie total beginner I am not crafty at all but I am playing around with this thing and I am fallen in love it's it's honestly it's not as intimidating as it looks it's very simple and I am just it's fun for me to be able to create things to as gifts or even like for this example like I am saving money on decorations because I'm making things with the machine you say you're sorry so we forget about it simple as that
I was using my stainless steel e-cloth pack to wipe down my stainless steel appliances which you just have to wet the cloths with water and they are by far the best stainless steel cleaner that I have ever tried. No streaks, it's just amazing. Um, but this was in the morning while the girls were still eating but then later on when they go down for their nap in the afternoon that's when I'll be tackling the patio. So the first step was to remove all of the patio furniture and the rug that um, we had on the actual patio because we wanted to clean it, power wash the furniture, power wash the actual patio. And this is all of what accumulates over the snowy Ohio winter. Um, so I busted out my power washer. I just love this because, I mean, I love it for so many reasons, but it's allowing me specifically to clean the outdoor rug so we can reuse it year after year. I bought it new last year from Home Depot. And anything that I use to decorate, I will link below if you can still get it. A lot of this stuff um, I got last year, so you can get some of it still, some you can't, um, but I'll link as much as I can. But I just feel like it felt good to really power wash all of those leaves off and even the power washer got off a lot of what I thought were stains on the patio. I think this video took like three or four days to film so not only are we going to be cleaning you know that's kind of phase one cleaning off the patio and then Mike is going to be planting flowers and laying down some mulch you'll see that and then I'll be decorating another day I think breaking it up which is typically what has to happen with kids and busy lives um, but I know here on my channel I've talked about this before or I get asked a lot um, if this is our forever home before you ever plan to move and we've always been up in the air, but something. the reason why I'm bringing this up is you're going to see one of, we think, the biggest faults to this house is the backyard and how close we are to our neighbors, um, specifically the neighbors right behind us. You'll see it more in some of the clips throughout the videos, but the houses are pretty much right on top of each other and there is just zero privacy. Um, so I would say that is one of our biggest downfalls to this house. So I guess we'll see. Um, right now it works, but yeah. So I do plan on kind of hopping around a little bit this video. I'm going to show you how I made the Cricut projects, um, a crock pot chicken recipe, as well as some new living room decor before we get to the patio makeover at the end. But while you guys are watching me clean, I figured I'll just chat about some random stuff. Um, the other day I had a friend who was saying how much they love ranch dressing and they cannot live without it. And I'm going to tell you right now, I think ranch dressing is completely overrated. Oh, 
we'll get back to that side note i am wiping down the door frame with some hot water and dawn dish soap and stay tuned here soon because i'm going to be actually cleaning the outdoor windows not in this video but in another video i didn't have a lot of time in this particular day because the twins were napping avery had a softball game so we had to have an early dinner um so i didn't have time to like really clean the windows out here but i am going to be doing that maybe in the next video that you see after this one um so i was just kind of doing like a basic clean um but yeah going back to the dress uh, ranch dressing um my friend was talking about it and i think ranch dressing is overrated and i've heard people say that people from the midwest midwesterners are obsessed with it um like i obviously know that ranch dressing is all over all over um but i i don't know like i've heard that it's just like extra big in the midwest like everyone you know they eat it with pizza it's like a common salad dressing and i hate it so i think it's totally overrated and i am curious i want you to let me know what's a food that you think is overrated that everyone loves and you're like i just don't get the hype i would rather eat a salad with no dressing than ranch dressing like i hate it that much i hate the smell i hate it so let me know what food you think is overrated Here I was finishing up some laundry. I'm gonna show you guys a crock pot recipe here in a minute. I'm gonna show you um, how I made the projects with my Cricut machine, the decorations here soon. Um, so we're gonna hop around a little bit before we get to the end, which I will be decorating the patio and then eating s'mores with the kids. So there'll be some things before we get to that part. <laughs> All right, so I am so excited to share these projects with you. So I'm gonna be making this little carrier for s'mores just for the summer as we spend time out on the patio. Um, I have some canned koozies for Mike and I for the summer as we sit out on our patio. And then I'm going to um, put a little bit of decoration on them. Then I have these throw pillow covers that I'm going to make myself, put some words on it and put it outside on the patio. So these projects are honestly so easy and simple. I've said this before and I'll say it again. If I can do this, I promise you can do it. I am not crafty. I'm not a crafty girl. I've never used a machine like this until I got this machine last August. And look what I am doing, stepping out of my comfort zone and creating projects that really can make a difference in my home. So for this first one you're seeing me make is a s'mores carrier tin and all I used was vinyl, um, Cricut vinyl. You just put it on your cutting mat, make your, I made, created the design in Cricut design space um, to create I used Cricut Design Space to create and cut my project, and then I weeded out my vinyl with the little tools, put it on my transfer tape, and then I used the transfer tape, which allowed me to, and then the transfer tape allowed me to easily put it on the tin that I bought from Target for ten dollars. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. They might troubles to rise. And for this next one, I'm using iron on vinyl because I'm gonna be using my Easy Press. So I did the same thing that I did with the s'mores tin. I used iron on vinyl. I created my design in Cricut Design Space. And then I also wanted to make for sure I measured the throw pillow covers and make sure, you know, with the word I was gonna put on there, I wanted it to be the right size. So I measured that out. I used my tools to weed the vinyl, 
add transfer tape and then I grabbed my easy press and it's really be cool it's really cool because the easy press that um, Cricut makes a sheet that tells you the temperature to set it at um, and then how long you should keep it on the material um, so it goes it, or it's based off the material that you're using so they make it so easy to figure out all of the settings and yeah I just looked it up really easily and it took me like 15 seconds to create this. Super easy and simple. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to... And then for my can koozie for Mike, I did girl dad because he is a girl dad and he's proud of it. So I put that, I bought this can koozie off of Amazon, put the design on there, simple, perfect for him. And I just used vinyl and transfer tape and those same little tools that I used to weed the vinyl. So I'm kind of hopping around here a little bit, but I wanted to show you the Cricut projects before I hop back into the recipe um, on that day that I was working out on the patio. So I am making a, it's called Crock-Pot Perfectly Seasoned mexican chicken tacos um tacos are almost a weekly occurrence in our household because everyone loves them so this was a new recipe full of extra flavor that i wanted to try and i will have it linked in the description i don't always use these in the slow cooker i'm using it today just because we have softball tonight and so it'll just be easier because i won't have as much time to clean up after dinner um but yeah, these are nice if you're in a pinch or just need something quick. But these are just nice if you don't want a lot of mess. Um, or if you know, like, I'll use these if I'm taking my crock pot somewhere. Like, I made a dip or something that I know it's going to be on for a long time. Like, you know, if you go to a party or something. Um, so these are just nice to have on hand. And I get them from Target or Walmart. I promise the rest of the patio decorating and reveal will be up soon after I show the rest of this recipe and the new living room decor that I've bought over the past couple of months. And stay tuned for hanging out with the fam on a Saturday night. Girls will either have a little bit of rice, it just depends on their mood, um, but it's usually tacos and then some guacamole sometimes i'll just take an avocado mash it up and add a little bit of salt and they love that it's pretty basic but they love it or i got these little guacamole cups from costco and we add these to our tacos or we dip everyone likes to dip this is something else that i've shown before uh here on my channel but it's the paprika app um, and it's just so nice because it keeps all of my recipes organized um, so here, so like I have some of my recipes and what's really nice is when you find a recipe online, whether it's on Pinterest or, you know, just online, you can save it directly to this app and like this cheesy taco pasta. So it inputs from the website, all of the ingredients right here. And then it even has all of the directions. So there's a picture and then you can do different groups. Like if you wanted to search like low carb recipes, you know, you can add a group for low carb or you could do soups. And when I'm meal planning, I can just easily scroll through and find some that we like. Since I am sharing all of the patio decorations and all of that, um, if you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that I've been kind of, well, we've been kind of transforming our living room. We got the new furniture in December. Our furniture before was pretty dark. A lot of more like warm, um, tans and creams and stuff like that and i always wanted something uh more cool i love blues and grays so 
that's kind of how we've been we've been transforming it and I am just someone who likes to take things slow <laughs> when it comes to decorating and get a feel of what I really like um, so I've been going shopping and I'll get a piece and I'll set it out and leave it there for a few days and I get a better idea if I really like it or if I don't because like other times I've rushed and I've gotten pieces and then I hate it after a month so I've learned my lesson I go shopping I find things that I like and I don't take the tags off and just for like two or three days like I'll sit it out in the area that I decorated um, and see how it looks and uh, that's what I've been doing over the past probably like three or three months and I'm finally getting everything together so I thought I'd show you some of the decorations that I have so far okay so this is the main focal point of what I want to decorate now I just pulled this um, set of books from up there because I was playing around with a couple different options um, and I had that and I put this lamp this lamp has actually been here so if you guys are if you pay and close enough attention this has been here for probably like two or three weeks um, but I got this lamp and um, at first I was going to do a mirror or a bigger family picture but then when I got this set up I really really liked it and it was kind of nice because I was able to um, keep a lot of the stuff that I already had um, but of course I have been buying <laughs> some things um, yeah and I'll show you so this basket I had already had and we were just making do with this basket um, but I have two of these baskets I'm gonna put um, there and take that away and then I have this little same color charger that I'm going to, which I'm gonna show you my living room, do not judge me, um, on there. And I have some little plants and I love my candles. So I got some candles. These are from Costco. This was from Home Goods. I got this little candle stand. That's a Better Homes and Gardens candle from um, Walmart. Some beads to play around with and then some pillows and not another blanket um, I got this sign from Hobby Lobby and I think I'm gonna use my Cricut to make a sign but this is definitely much more my speed of that coastal farmhouse vibe um, I think in all of this that's where I realize that is my vibe coastal farmhouse I love the blue white screams all of that with a little bit of you know greenery maybe adding in a little bit of color with um, the candles but this is it I am almost done and you better believe I will be filming it all here soon but but just taking my time has made me feel so much better about it and just really thinking and making the right choices and not spending a ton of money and just making sure I really like the pieces before I invest money into it. So stay tuned because we will do more decorating. I'll probably bring you along as I decorate and show you more here soon. So Mike had come out earlier in the morning to lay mulch and then I was um, or he was going to lay mulch and plant some flowers before I finished up later in the afternoon to decorate and the kids were outside in the morning with him as well. I think everyone is just so ready to be outside and spend most of our time outside instead of inside and we got these navy blue planters from costco last year and we saved them because we liked how they matched the patio so this year all we had to do was buy some flowers and plant those in there so we could have everything match again it is a saturday it's a beautiful out so i am ready to go out there finish up this patio decorate and finish it up so we can enjoy it and i'll bring you guys along as we make some s'mores tonight So this was again during nap time and Mike and I were just putting things back, cleaning up the patio, and then I was going to decorate so we can enjoy our evening when the girls woke up. And Avery was, I should say this, Avery was not mad that I ruined her chalk design on the patio at all. Um, 
but yeah, I did feel a little bit bad, but she didn't care at all. And these Adirondack chairs, um, I recent they're new. I got them for Mother's Day. It was my Mother's Day present, and I love them. They're comfortable, and the girls are pretty good at playing by themselves so it's kind of nice because now I have a little place that I can sit and relax let them play run around um, and I am going to do a patio tour here in a minute and tell you where I got everything so I'll explain more here soon Like I said, some of this stuff, um, or a lot of the stuff I got last year. So like these th throw pillows specifically, they're not available anymore, but I got them from Target. Um, and then like this tray, they it's still on Walmart's website, it was from Walmart, but it says it's out of stock. So I don't know if they're gonna get it in stock, but some things um, that I bought last year are in stock and some are not. You like the new chairs? But what you're seeing is pretty much a typical weekend night for us. This is probably our favorite part about this house is spending time outside on beautiful nights like this on the weekend. It's just nice to sit back here. Everyone just seems to be happier when in the summer when it's sunny and we can be outside, get some fresh air. And I mean, the girls specifically just love being outside. So I think everyone's just happier out here. So we like to spend a lot of our time out here in the summer. Okay, so we will start over here. I get asked all of the time about the swing set. So the swing set that we have was from Costco. We got it when Avery was probably two. So we've had it for four years and it took almost a whole weekend for Mike and his dad to put together. They take forever to put together. We could have hired someone to put it together, but him and his dad, I think they took like two full days and then maybe like another half day to put it together, but we got that from Costco. And then um, this patio set, which we love, 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 we got from, don't mind Avery's shoes and socks, dirty shoes and socks. This patio set we got from Overstock. I will have it linked below, but we love it. It's so comfortable. Um, the rug is from Home Depot last year. I'll try to link everything that I can. The fire pit is from Hayneedle. Um, I know they don't have it anymore because my parents were asking, but they have ones that are similar. It was not very expensive. Like we went back and forth. Should we get something that's expensive? Um, like, is that something that matters that you should spend a little bit more money on? We did not spend a lot of money on and it's lasted, I think this will be our third summer. So 
Um, we love it. So it's funny because we have this other fire pit over here and I think that you know you just realize how much work it takes to really like stoke a fire um, we do use the real fire pit more in like the fall and um, when it gets really cold but in the summer this is this ends up being perfect so overstock hay needle Home Depot um, yeah and this is our perfect little oasis in the summer um, like I said I'll have to try to link everything um, as much as we can. That was from Costco to store all of the toys. Um, the girls love sitting in that. I love that it has an umbrella to block the sun, um, the flower pots. But yeah, we have the water table that the girls love, love, love. Um, even Avery still plays with it with the girls, which is kind of cool. And then these chairs we got from Home Depot. No, I'm sorry, Walmart. We got from Walmart and I went back and forth. It was kind of the situation with the, um, fire pit. I was like, should we go with something? Like, do we need something to pay a little bit more to make them last since they will be sitting outside? Um, and we went for something more a little cheaper they were $98 a piece which I know is kind of pricey but at the same time um, when you're talking about outdoor furniture it's not cheap at all so we kind of went on the cheaper side and they're really good quality like they're like a I think they're made of a plastic I mean you can check them out but they are heavy duty like they're not super light so I think they ended up being perfect and then I got that from Amazon but something else that's really important to us is we do cover our furniture. When we bought this, you know, it's outdoor furniture can be pretty pricey. So we wanted to make for sure it would last us. We do cover it and we got um, furniture covers on Amazon. I'll have those linked below. So we put those on actually every single night. So when we go inside tonight, we will put the covers on. Um, but then that way in the summertime, we can leave our furniture out. So like in the cold, in the you know, negative wind chill, chills in the teen temperatures, the snow, the freezing rain. We keep all of this out here. We don't have to store anywhere else. We just cover it and it's really kept up, which is really nice. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun to bring you along as we prepared our patio for the summer. This is what Mike and I pretty much do every weekend night in the summer, get the kids put to bed and then just hang out here and listen to the birds, watch the sunset and just relax. So I hope you guys found this motivating. I hope you enjoyed the projects that I tackled and I don't know, I'm just getting more comfortable with the Cricut and it's fun to be able to decorate parts of my house knowing that I had a hand in it and also to kind of do it on a budget because if I bought you know the pillow covers it would be a lot more so anyways thanks for sticking around this whole time we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our evening and I guess I will see you guys next time Sunday there will be a brand new video up on my channel so get ready for some more cleaning motivation <laughs> bye